Welcome to my first probably I think ever video on the channel that isn't GTA besides Apex. We're not GTA. What the fuck am I talking about? I don't know. I'm saying Grand Theft Auto. I'm talking about um, looks like game Black Ops 4. Sorry, it's so irrelevant in my head already. I can't really focus on it because the video I uploaded probably yesterday or today, depending if I decide to up double upload this. Um, I kind of lost everything for Black Ops 4, man. After Arsenal Sandstorm came out, I haven't played it. I refuse to play it. I backed out every single lobby that has been associated with that map. So hopefully, um, I'm just gonna wait until Modern Warfare 4 and play something different for now. And what I have found was a really, 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 I, I, don't, I don't care about the fucking voices that talk in the background. There, when you when you hover over an episode, it, like, it speaks for you, and I don't want that to cut off what I'm talking about here. But I'm gonna be trying the live com this game. It's uh, World War Z. World War Z is uh, it was a movie that came out. It was a few years ago, I think. It was about basically a zombie apocalypse, like every other zombie movie is about. There's really not too much to explain about this game. I think it kind of speaks for itself. But uh, nonetheless, man, I'm gonna hop right into it. I'm gonna start from the beginning. I'm gonna play this through all the way to the end. I'm doing this offline right now. I do have footage of me playing with friends. I have played this game before. This is not my first time playing it, so I do know. A good amount about this game but i haven't really sat down and played all the way through it so so this is pretty much like it's kind of hard to explain it's it's really really fun but like you have class customization weapon customization it's basically just a brain dead fucking zombie shoot at everything you see in front of you and hope to god you don't die it's one of those games and it's really really fun i think Pers for me personally I, I i've been having a blast but it. it's something different I mean, the game only has four chapters at the moment and has a multiplayer that isn't too good, but I mean, the, like, the game mechanics are simple, nothing's complicated, nothing's overcomplicated, so it's really just, if you're looking for something to play when you're just bored and want kind of a half-together, put-together put storyline, I should say, I don't, I don't really know how to word that, but... It's fun, man. Like, uh, I think I'm using... I should put on Slasher. I should end this mission and put on Slasher. Slasher's a really good specialist, but nonetheless... I think I have Gunslinger on. My chair's really creaky, too. What the fuck, man? Everything's just falling apart for me in these past five minutes. This chair's been squeaking since, like, the fucking second week I got it. I eventually got to replace this thing, man. But right now, I'm focusing on working, saving my money, and making, it, making with what I got. The intro clips are kind of corny, man. Like, you already know how World War Z works. You've seen the movie. It's just fucking swarms of zombies. So, let's get right in this. The story really does not matter in this game. It's definitely more about, um... Yeah, like, this just sets the tone for how the game's gonna be. There's just a fucking mound of bodies directly in front of you. Dan, you hear me? So, these zombies are attracted to noise. So, what do we do? We're going for it. Trying the subway to Inwood. Walk in with a fucking M16. Do I have my... Do I have my set? Oh, shit, on headset. Volume only. I want to make sure... Cause I might have changed it to speakers. I want to make sure it's all going. Yeah, it's all going to the headset. Sorry about that. I had to check. That was a terrible idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. They come from every angle too, man. This game, you really do not have much time to think. You kind of have to just act and move quickly. Because if you stay back, then swarms and swarms of everything just come at you. See, this is why I wanted to be slasher. You get more melee attacks. I'm gonna back up here, dude. Look, like, look at this. Look at this shit. Has more. Like, we gotta push down this hallway. Or we're all gonna fucking die. So I'm pushing this way. Can. See, there's like a. The see, there's a breach charge. There's like breach charges you can pick up, I guess, to like, uh. Did get some? Okay, I see you can pick up like special weapons. You hold down Y to use it, and it kind of serves as whatever your special weapon is. There's a few of them. I'll be showing all of them, like, throughout the game, because I know what a good majority of them are already. Hey, off the top of my head. Dude, there's just so much fucking shit. Dude, the focus on this game, man. I love it. It's so fast-paced. I've always been into fast-paced games, man. That's why. I, that's where I started with Call of Duty, because older Call of Duty is like World War II and Black Ops 1. You just play so fast-paced. That's kind of where I specialize in. I always like going off and branching to different parts of the map just to see what it's all about. So zombie behind us. That's a fucking... Alright, these are called bulls. I call them rams because in Dead Island, they're called rams. Of course, he's going to go after me too. 
He's dead. Sweet. And then they got... There's also other zombies too, man. So as a bull, pretty much is the big guy. Your typical big guy zombie character. And then you got a lurker who's kind of your, uh, your stealth... Your stealth zombie you should be looking out for. There's a tally in here. It keeps all your kills and stuff. Every now and then you hit checkpoints where you can refill your ammo and shit like that. Like you can pick up new rifles and stuff like that, which I found to be really enjoyable. But I'm going to stay with my sporting carbine because uh, this thing's actually pretty good through the first uh, few rounds of the game. So let's open up this elevator see what we're going to go. We got to go to the ground floor. This is where it got hard. I actually tried playing this mission before with a few Creeper. of my friends. You're wrong okay. floor, assholes. All right, that was Damn. a pretty cool expert. This game gets wild, man. I'm telling you guys right now. It already is wild to start off, but like, there's just swarms and swarms and swarms. When I mean swarms, I mean swarms. This is definitely like the best like respawn game for zombies. If you want something that's just ruthless 95% of the time, look at that, dude. Look what's down there, too. That's actually where we have to shoot up and shit. God damn! There's a lot of fucking zombies down here. Oh, yeah, we gotta descend. I'm not even reading the instructions right, dude. Like, I'm so just fucking... Wait, do we have... Is there stairs we can take anywhere? It says reach right here. Okay, yeah, there is stairs. Okay. There's just broken escalators. I was like, where the fuck does it want me to go? I know it wants me to go down to the ground level, but... You can get, yeah, you can get, like, a chainsaw and shit, too. Like, this game has a lot to offer, man. So, um, problem is, we have a whole fucking load of zombies down here. So, let's start off with a grenade and hope to God we survive. Shit, dude. Like, the game starts to lag a little bit, too, but it's, it actually lags less than Black Ops 4. And the best part about this game is it's only 14 gigs as well, compared to, like, 83 gigs in a apparently fully well-put-together game. watch my size and shit because I see like they have like an acoustic center kind of thing oh that's right you know what they also do they mount up I forgot about that I'll show you guys this too they like they actually mount up like in the movies dude this is nuts like dude it's just they get up here so quick no matter what you fucking fire at them man like, this shit really does get crazy. Fuck. Slow down, man. Holy shit, they're coming. I got a, I got a mantle of this, dude. I'm ditching my fucking squad. See, see you later. You're not going to catch me fucking hazmats, too, dude. Like, I really hope this game continues to add DLC in the future because it's a very, like, it's not a weak concept for a video game, but you already know, like, it's a video game-based movie, so there's not going to be the, like, they're not going to be able to add as much shit as you want them to add. But I hope they get creative with this, man. Like... The bulls were in the movie, I don't think. If I'm not mistaken, like... Oh, this slash. Alright, so is there any way you can get down here at this point? You can grab some of these grenades as well. You can refill your special primaries and shit, which is different for everybody. Depending on what specials you use or whatever character. So that's done. That much fucking blood is on the wall, man. Like this game is no. I love. That's what I love about like zombie games and stuff, man. They really do not show. Just like that, man. Always gotta keep your head, especially in multiplayer in this game, because multiplayer in this game, you can play co-op campaign or you can play the online online. I don't care about the online online. I'm here for the sim, like the zombie shooting shit, man. Like I'm I'm simple as it gets. But there's instances where these people that you play with online just do not know what the fuck they're doing. Alright, so we can get resupply outside, here. I'm grab this AK. I bought a weapon variant. This game's actually really cool. Like, they're in-game currency, too. Because you gotta keep... You gotta... Oh, like, right there. There it is. Literally the gun. You can buy, like, a special variant of a gun. Once you rank up over time. When you rank up the weapon. And it basically gives you, like, more accuracy, handling abilities, and shit like that. And it's all earned through in-game. This game does not have microtransactions thus far. Which is shocking the life out of me. Because it surprisingly has a good amount of fucking content for a game that is first off based off a movie so you don't have you don't have a lot to work with to begin with and then you also have um shit like weapon power-ups and stuff like that and weapon abilities you can eventually rank up over time and buy with currency that the game gives you i'll show you at the end of the first mission so i'm going to be uploading this as like a mission series 
It's actually fucking bizarre how like fluent this game is. It's fun. It's really fun. Recommend you guys give it a shot if you guys get the money for it. It's forty dollars. It does have a little bit of a price tag on it, but I'm gonna assume that it's it already has more than Black Ops 4 has in it, and it's fucking 14 gigs and twenty dollars cheaper. So if you're planning on buying a new COD or Stay sharp. We got a creeper. Oh, you know what? We gotta walk over to begin the battle. I forgot you can do that manually, but I actually want to grab a couple more turret systems if I can find them. I forgot the teammates don't know how to build in this game. Probably a bull over there too. Well, I'll just let the team. In. So I'm really hoping to like pop open this gate or some shit. Stay together. Hey, I'm reloading. Like look at this. Like the original weapon variant of this thing, is, it has a lot of recoil. It doesn't have a lot of recoil. It has, just, it has just a good amount of small crosshairs, but yeah, this is what I mean by this game gets crazy, dude. Like, they're gonna start fucking pouring in here. And you gotta lock this down or else you are screwed if they push over. I'm playing this on a weaker difficulty, too. Oh, are they really? Are they coming from up here, too? Bro, they might be. They might be. Yep. Oh, fucking awesome. There's a bull right here. You can't really dodge these guys. Fuck it, fuck it. Nope. Hopefully my teammates can get over here and take him out in time. I gotta reel up and shit. Ah, oh, they really do not know. Oh god, 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 move, please, me, please, move. No, I don't wanna apply my I gotta heal myself. I need I need y'all to hit me with some cover fucking fire, man. I'm getting bodied out here, I'm getting scraped. Alright, let me start firing some nades over here. It's also an explosive sniper as well. That was one of the other uh, heavy weapons you can pick up. You have three weapon slots. You have a primary, a secondary, and a heavy weapon slot. And heavy weapons just lay around the map wherever, pretty much. Pretty cool to have an explosive sniper. Doesn't really do a lot of damage, but you gotta take what you can get sometimes. So it looks like this wave's almost done as well. Too. This rifle also makes shit so much fucking easier as well. Get the head of that. Push up on these guys. Perfect. Just like that, man. Easy enough. I don't know, man. I could, it could just be me, because I'm not accustomed to having like a game that isn't that good, especially sticking with Black Ops 4 for the past few months. But like this game, this it's fun. I actually, am, I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. Raise the gate. Here we go. Oh shit. We gotta go out of the subway. See, I didn't make it this far in the mission before, the first mission, when I was playing with my friend Ariel and Martha. We died because we had it on a higher difficulty, and there's just so fucking many zombies, and we had a really, really trash player as well. This guy has a pressure on it, too. This is also why I bought this variant. Fun World War Z fact. Don't know if I already mentioned it, but the zombies... Yeah, I think I already have. The zombies in the movie have, like, supersonic hearing, and they don't really, like, communicate or, like, interact in any other way besides that they hear noise. So you'll notice there's, like, a lot of cool snippets. They try, they try, they, they stay with the movie, I appreciate that, because, like, a lot of the shit you have to be quiet for. Either way, they'll still come in swarms, though, so no matter what, even if you, like, want to play suppressed. Like, there is going to be a lot of zombies down here. Like, this is how you already know. Like, there's going to be shit down here. Fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. I'm just playing through this game, Bob. I'm also gonna be playing like with friends and shit. See, you gotta look out for that kind of shit, man. Like this game has You don't expect a lot of the shit like to come. Like what the fuck is a ram doing over here? Like, you never expect this. And they ain't light either, bro. They eat a good amount of bullets. Like they don't play. Your objective is shit. You have to continue moving because if you don't, you are going to die. Even on an easy difficulty, like this game, this is on normal difficulty. Like this feels genuinely hard. It's like a challenge for me to play by myself. So that's why I'm also doing this series. Talk to the train driver. Where the fuck is this guy? Can you get us to Inwood? For a price? 
Not fucking oh, close. Is Greed is what kills everybody that's Bring watching this. Yep. So we gotta go get supply crates. Probably. Sneaky Zeke is close. Teammates still play OBJ, so you gotta do this by yourselves. Crates. Grabbed a supply box. I mean, they look pretty strapped up in there. They had a lot of boxes and stuff. I don't know why they can't have come over here and fucking gotten it themselves. They had a lot of fucking guns. It's always you that has these. Nice, good shit, good shit. We gotta push out of here, though. We can't stay in here forever. Especially since I don't have another med kit and I'm getting low on the ammo. Yeah, so I'm gonna kill a screamer too, dude. That's kinda, that's a problem. Screamers in this game are a huge issue because when they scream, they actually attract bigger hordes. Hordes are still gonna come, like I said, nonetheless, no matter what. You, like, you can't prevent it, but at least you take out this guy. Like, we gotta push. We gotta fucking hit these areas, man. Woo, this ain't easy. This is not easy. This is not easy. Alright, looks like I gotta go by myself. My teammates are kinda of fucking like, what the fuck is this be doing right now? Yeah, thank you guys. Need you up here when I actually go grab these crates. The game mechanics are still a little choppy, obviously, because it's fairly early in the stage. I think this game, I don't know when it came out, but it did not. Oh, I should know it's an primary. I thought it was a heavy. Just wanted to swap that out with my primary or my heavy weapon I had. It's not easy to find shit in this game either, as well. I'm telling you that, too. There's something in here. There is something fucking in there. It's never this easy. Well, we also have to push it back out as well. Which, I don't know if we could take this door to get out. Nah, that would be that. Wait, hold on. Look at that. Sweet, okay. That's good to know. There was, like, no OBJ marker showing that or anything. So, honestly, I probably would have never figured that out for myself. Since number two, we got delivered. Yeah, this is, this is the assault shot you want. This heavy shotgun is probably the best when you're trying to maneuver around small areas, so I'm happy they dropped that for me rather than like a sniper or something like that. This is my favorite one. Like I said, just because I love playing aggressive on like any video game I can play. It's also a one shot, I think, that you know, there's zombies that aren't bulls, no matter what the range. It's a really powerful shotgun. Like, it's a heavy shotgun. Like a shotgun's supposed to be. Pick this shit up. Grab the supply box. Heading back with it. Like, bro, relax. Another fucking screamer too. It's a lot harder with people playing by yourself too. I actually have to like focus up a lot more. So that is kind of fun. Yeah, one Three shot to a screamer. We gotta go. Two more. All right. So it says we gotta go back here again. That's a creeper. That's a creeper. Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me. Oh boy! I saw this one coming. Another part about creepers too is this game, like I said, it's not the easiest thing you're ever gonna play in your life. When you get attacked by one of those creepers, they're called lurkers. I don't know why they call them creepers. I guess it's like maybe like an in-game thing that the characters have. But when they jump on top of you and they have you pinned down, you're gonna light up yellow and you'll be seen like through all the walls. But if you don't get over to your teammate in time, like multiple zombies hop on top of you too. Like it's actually like you're getting it's like you're getting swarmed. And that shit ain't easy, cause you can go, like, you can have half a life bar, they can drain half your fucking life, and you don't get med kits that often in this game. It's... When you play on the next difficulty up as well, it also shows that, um, Grab the supply box. you have Heading zero med kits, I believe, on hard. See, like, there's already zombies running at me and shit. There you go, man, you happy? You're five crates. You said. I think this mission's done, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we just gotta get ready on the train. Oh, we're making too much noise. They're gonna come. 
Well, how would you how would you get in the fucking train? Oh no. We gotta fucking defend this thing now? Oh no, our teammates are outside. Whoops. Yeah, it's definitely the end of the mission. Got the train moving. I think we come out to another system. That's actually fun, dude. I, got, I had me locked in for 20 minutes. I had a lot of fun genuinely playing this game. Makes me talk more. There's more shit to talk about in this fucking game. Honestly. More than it is Black Ops 4 or any other game I've played so far. This is definitely, I think we're going to wrap this up here. This is going to be part one of the series. I'm going to try to upload this daily if I can. I'm going to have the other parts recorded, so I might maybe do, if you guys would honestly like a longer video of this, please let me know in the uh, comment section below or just tweet it at me because this is actually a lot of fun to play. Like, this is a game I can sit down. I might do it with another friend just to have somebody else to, like, entertain me when I do this, but it's really fun to sit down and, like, play this game. None of our guys went down. Could bumble the difficulty a little bit maybe for next for uh, next video. I'm thinking about it just to show you guys like how it plays. There's also like an insanity mode too. I hope this game comes out like a horde mode or something like that where you can just survive against waves of zombies. It'd be a lot of fun. This game can get really creative. I hope they try to like branch it off and get this game out there a little bit more. But definitely give it a buy or a play if you have it already. It's genuinely fun. I really do like this game for a simple zombie shooter. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.